<laughs> why, why are we dancing? <laughs> this is how you do your intro now. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. Today's a special one. It's the first time we're finally doing a Chevy truck revival. We just bought this 75 C10 for 500 bucks. It's been sitting here for I don't even know how long. Let's go ahead and put a battery in it and see if we can make it run. Are you ready, Move? Yeah. So based on the title, this thing was placed in storage in the year 2000, which was 21 years ago, which means that this thing has been sitting here for, I would say, at least 20 years. The owners affectionately called it the, what was it? The Patch Quilt Chevy. The Patch Quilt Chevy, because as you can see, it's been totally patched together. This whole piece is a patch. Iowa. <laughs> Tailgate looks pretty good. More patches on this side. Some patches in the door. Cab corner at the front of the door. And it looks like we got one good fender. The hood's already got a bit of a kink in it, so that sucks. Uh, the hood liner's falling down. I fixed it. And in here we have a V8 Chevy. Mook, can you do those the honors and see if the thing even spins over? I sure can. Oh, a little something. Oh, I saw it move a tiny bit. Yep. We'll go ahead and say that that's, uh, that's totally free it's and that free. She'll, she'll run. I think we should call this the pumpkin patch. Oh my God, that's genius. It's bright orange and it's all patched together. <laughs> this thing is totally sunk in the ground. We've got four flat tires on it. The rim is below the dirt. And there's a bunch of bugs crawling around. No bugs. <laughs> Grill looks like it's okay. Everything seems to be here. Looks like it was a power steering, power brake truck. Let's go around on the inside here. Look at the gooey steering wheel. That is gross. <laughs> We've got a split bucket seat going on here. I don't know if these are original to the truck or if they're from the blazer or what the deal is. There's no floor whatsoever. Oh, it got goo on me. Ew. Kevin. Ew. I, I can't see how many miles it has. Oh, 78. It has 78 miles. I like the shape of this dash. Oh, this. Oh. <laughs> that is nasty. Did we bring D-germ? It put hairy goo all over my leg. You touched a Chevy. <laughs> We got an oil pressure gauge, a fuel gauge, a brake light, a temp gauge, typical Chevy stuff. Dash looks really nice. Beautiful orange dash. Beautiful orange interior. This is damn near the same orange as my F100 actually. Now that I see the inside where it's, I think the paint's somewhat okay. Everybody thinks your F100's red. Yeah. Red, orange, red, orange. I'm sure this bed liner is pretty much the last thing holding it together. Seven. Oh my gosh, look at rubber queen this oh there's so <laughs> many jokes to be made here but they just they're writing themselves better than i could write them i tell you what <laughs> i found a bunch of band-aids for when we hurt ourselves did you yeah oh yeah i never even looked in there oh no i oh. put my hand on the steering wheel hold on let me see the camera real quick and don't move <laughs> what you got a bunch of seat on your butt do i <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> This is Cheyenne. I realize that now, because it says Cheyenne. <laughs> oh, here's our door card. This is important. Get, 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 get out. Ooh, yes. I've located our door card. I'm going to sacrifice my pants to sit in here and read it. We've got a sliding rear window. All right, we're off to a good start. Turbo Hydromatic Trans, which was apparently rebuilt right before it was parked. The color is crimson red. Ah, here we go. VA engine, 350 cubic inch. So yeah, we've got a uh, 75 Chevy Cheyenne with a 350 Chevy V8 in it. What do you say we get a battery and see if anything comes to life? Oh, I found another plug for the insulation. Oh, son of a bitch, the battery's bolted down. Uh, and it's also rusted to hell. Heck. 
Wow. Okay, well, that's one way to fix that. <laughs> Sounds really crunchy. I went to loosen it with the wrench, and it won't move, so I just <laughs> grabbed it and bent it out of the way. And now we're free. Yay! <laughs> All right, new battery. Does it even fit? Only just. Clean up our terminals a little bit. I don't hear any any noise. I see no fires. Same. Let's go to the cab and put this set of keys in it and see what happens. You know what's concerning? <laughs> this radio is called the Sparkomatic. It's supposed to be a radio, <laughs> not a death wish. Oh, our coolant temp went to um, cold and the fuel went to all of it. <laughs> what in the Chevy's going on? <laughs> That's amazing. This is a safe station. <laughs> oh boy. Buys a Cheyenne. Immediately is taken out to the wild west. <laughs> hey! Wow. We got working wipers. How about headlights? Yep. Yep. Right? Left? Yep, there's a the left. Yeah. <laughs> no horn? Damn it. <laughs> well, we paid too much for this pile of crap. There's no horn. <laughs> yes. Comes with Kevin powered windows. Sure do. Oh, what about a blower? <laughs> I thought you turned the radio back on. Stop. Well, you broke it. <laughs> Is it just always on? There's no off. Stop touching it. You're making it angry. All right, we're gonna get into the good stuff now. <laughs> Yummy! Bonk! Oh, we got an HEI distributor back there. Looks like most of our plug wires are intact. Now that we know our air intake is free and there's no mouse poop or anything in here, does our card move? I do. Oh, here's oil. Looks nice and clean. Oh, it's yeah, it's actually pretty good. I need absolute silence for this precision work. Move! I did it! I have a phone case with my truck on it. What? <laughs> Where can they find one of those? Um, if you watch part four of my green 78 here you can figure that out all right do you want to go in and hit the key yes all right ma'am go ahead <laughs> well she spins over wow that's really sounds stupid. like you might have a couple soft cylinders but uh i guess we just hit it with some brake clean and <laughs> see if it makes noise yes <laughs> let's do that you could check for spark on hei by pulling uh, one of the plug wires and checking as it rotates over but we're just going to go ahead and throw some brake clean down it and see if it pops out. This should be enough to do something. Alright, hit it. Something seems to be ungood. Looks like it's stinky. <laughs> We've got some fun things going on with the uh, choke there, which means that the valve train might not be happy. It's making a bunch of goofy noises, and uh, it's only trying to fire on like one cylinder once in a while. So maybe we should back up and kind of reassess and start from further back. Or we hit it again and see what happens. Yeah, that one! Ow. <laughs> Right. 
Hmm. It does not seem pleased with wanting to be alive. Interesting. Um, it's too bright to see if we have sparks, so I'm just gonna like this. Crank it over, mode. That, uh, that means there's spark. Now the question is, is there compression? Kinda seems like the answer <laughs> might be no. Let's go ahead and disconnect our fuel so that if things do start working, we don't fill our carburetor full of poop. Thank you to whoever sent us these knives in the mail. They've been quite useful. You guys want to send us stuff in the mail? Um, what's our P.O. box address, Mook? Our P.O. box address is either Junkyard Digs or Junkyard Mook, P.O. box 1623, Ames, Iowa, 50010. Kevin always puts it in the description, too, in case you didn't catch that. With that being said, if you guys want to see uh, your shirt worn on the episode, go ahead and send us your shirt so we wear them. I, I only wear shirts I usually get for free or make myself. Fun fact. I'm wearing a Knoxville Driveline shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Which was free on Power Tour. <laughs> And what else are you wearing? I'm wearing Junkyard Digs merch, which you can find at junkyarddigs.com. Actually, Mook has more to add on that. I do. I'm here to let you know that all Thunderhead 289 merch on our website, his logo and the Trailer Park F100 shirts are on clearance. This means that they are 30% off and they are limited supply. So when they're gone, they are gone. All right, that's enough of the shameless plugs. Let's see if we can make this thing run. So we know I have spark on cylinder one, but we don't know if we have spark on everything and how strong it is. We're gonna go ahead and pop the cap and rotor off, clean them up, and make sure that we're getting spark everywhere it needs to be. Our plug wires look good. The plugs don't look terribly old. So uh, I don't think it's anything that's an issue down there. Then okay. beyond that, it's probably gonna be compression things, which is gonna be fun. Yeah. You really thought the first small block Chevy we'd come up to would be like, you know, put gas in it and go, because it's a small block Chevy and they're immortal. But, so far now. Time for that cap to come off. Oh, pretty poop ass. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow. That's probably our problem. <laughs> I'll take that screwdriver, please. There you go. Thank you. Go ahead and get those cleaned up. We'll try it again. What did you do? Nothing. Are you okay? No. Do you need a hug? Yeah, I could use a hug. <laughs> I'm once again a dentist. Scrape it off black. <laughs> you need a brush more, Chevy. <laughs> yeah, gosh. Don't forget to floss. Okay, our cap and rotor is reinstalled. Mook, if you want to hit it, we'll try it again. Big boom. Seems to have a definite change. Go ahead. What the hell is this thing doing right now? It tried to run, it popped real loud, and now it's just all over the board. Crank it. I think we might have flooded her out somehow. I don't know if the carb had some stuff in it or what, but either she flooded out or the, the piston rings are getting some oil and it's building compression in two cylinders. This thing's gonna fight us a life, but I think I can make it run. Let's try this vice grip garage style where we show the entire truck. Question, which shot do you guys prefer when we're doing this? Do you prefer seeing the engine up close and seeing stuff spin? Or do you wanna see the whole car? So you can't really tell what's going on, but you might be able to see some exhaust smoke. Let us know down in the comments. And All then right, let me know what your favorite color is. Getting tired. Why is it 
not even run on one cylinder, so strong. But nothing else. You know what I didn't bring? Cookies! <laughs> you know what else I didn't bring? Another carburetor? You know what else I didn't bring? What? Spark plug socket. Oh, what the heck? Alright, so this is a good example of an engine that's been sitting for a while and doesn't want to come back to life. I thought this was going to be an easy revival, but it turns out it's not. What I'm going to do is start popping out plugs. What may have happened is they were uh, burning oil before it was ever parked and they all got gummed up and they're not going to make spark after sitting for that long. Or they are flooded right now or who knows what. But I'm just going to pop them out, we'll take a look at what's going on, and then reassess. Another option we may have is the valve train is all gummed up after sitting for 20 years. Um, it's very much a possibility. These are way, way older than I had anticipated. <laughs> so that's, that's a thing. These plugs are looking okay. I think what we're really fighting right now is valve train, which we just cranked it a bunch and then went and got lunch for a half hour, so it might be good to go now. You want to throw that away for me? Oh, weapon! <laughs> Ooh, that one's a fuzzy spark plug. Yeah, there's definitely some crap on them, but there's no reason these shouldn't be running. I can test one. I'll go crank it. You tell me if that light's on fire. Okay. They're sparking, yeah. I think we've lost our battery on top of everything else. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put these plugs back in and we'll just try it again with a fresh battery see what happens. So we'll be back when I got it all back together. See you now! Are you dancing to the birds? Yes. Fun fact, I can't say wasp very well. Wasp? Wasp nest. Wasp nest. <laughs> wasp nest. Wasp nest. Wasp nets. <laughs> Where's the extra T coming from? I don't know. Wasp, Wasp nest. nest. <laughs> right, do it again. You can do this. I believe in you. Wasp nest. Yes. Wasp nest. Oh no. <laughs> Same with dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the Minnesotan coming out. Dish soap. Dish soap. <laughs> dish dish Minnesota. All right, let's crank this thing, see if it comes to life, okay. slash see if our other battery has any charge in it. Dish soap. Dish soap. Crank it. Okay. Woo! Smoky. Turns out it wants more fuel and more, uh... More go. More go. I think we can get her going now. Do you think we can get it going with dish soap? Dish soap? No, but we can definitely get it going with a wasp nest. Wasp nest. <laughs> Cranking. Whoa. Oh my. Bless Fuel you. pump started working. Ooh, that's big stink. God bless you. <laughs> All right, we need to take a quick break and uh, plug that fuel line. And then maybe set up our own fuel system. I think this thing's gonna run after all. I think it was just a bit of cranking speed issues. There wasn't any oil on anything. We had to get it going around. Uh, but now that the rings are getting some oil, we're building compression and she's gonna come to life. This is a public service announcement. Kevin is a butt connector. What? All right, we've got a fuel pump hooked up here. It's got a freaking accelerator pump that works. One thing I will say, those carburetors right there, in my experience, are better than the Ford two barrels. Ford's Autolite two barrels are trash. All right, Mook, head on in and crank it. Let's see if she comes alive. Whoa! You thought about it, do it again. Cranking. Go again? Hang on, it's on fire. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> Try it again. Cranking. Ha ha ha! 
It idles, kind of, unlike, you know, four cylinders. Yeah. Very well, Chevy. Very well. Give it a little revy. I'm trying. Oh, I killed it. Chevy. <laughs> That's probably very much on fire. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mook. Hell yeah. Now I guess we get some air in these tires and see if we can get it to move. <sighs> Step number next, see if we can get air into these tires. Probably not, but I can be hopeful. Oh, she's thinking. We'll have at least one. Look at that. Really come out of the ground. You might be wondering, Kevin, why do you guys not do square body Chevys very often? This is literally the first one I found affordable that was like still abandoned. These were popular 15 years ago and they all got bought up. Like they're gone. At least in our area, it's hard to find these trucks. I've been wanting to do one for a long time because I, I kind of like square body Chevys. They're essentially the same thing as the 70s Ford. I mean, obviously they're both in the 70s, but they're that nice, Awesome vintage of truck. There we go. Come on, girl. Although we do mostly Fords on the channel, I'm not actually totally partial to Ford. I enjoy Chevys and Mopars and all of them. A car is a car. And as long as you're out here bringing it back to life, that is what counts. All right, hey, two out of four. There's three out of four. It's growing. Kevin, look. Yeah? The differential is finally out of the dirt. Oh, it's got mud on it? There's like two inches of mud on it. Holy cow, this thing was buried. The last melon. You know what? This fender might be okay. So we got a good fender and... Yeah. A mirror. A mirror. Oh. Uh-oh. No, I think it's going. This is the part where it rolls down the hill. Yeah. Tire right here. See that? Yeah. All right, let's see if the transmission works and see if this thing will drive out of its grave. Heck yeah! I really like your custom steering wheel there, Kevin. Yeah, that's my uh, my sweet anti goo steering wheel cover. These are available on junkyarddigs.com. Why didn't I put them all to the inside? That would have been smarter. These rust patterns back here look like an agate. Are you making more Minnesota references over there? Heck off! Agates are so pretty. <laughs> Well, it's coming along. Real. Arts and Crafts Day here at <laughs> Junkyard Days. Ta-da! Well, it's been five minutes and this is already flat, so... Yeah, that thing is done for. Okay, here we go. Look <gasps> up the fuel. Let's see if this thing dries. Don't catch on too much fire, pumpkin patch. <laughs> Just a little fire, please. Okay, we do have a forward gear.
you have it. That right there is a running and driving 1975 Chevy C10 Cheyenne that has been sitting since 2001. 20 years off the road, two hours of work, and she's back to life. Never said I was happy about it, but it's back to life. Power steering worked, the brake pedal actually moves, revs out pretty good, sits there and idles, fires right up now. It's a pretty good truck. I mean, it's not, it's a total pile of shit, but <laughs> it's, it, all things considered, it operates pretty well. Can I stand like way up here? Yeah. Now we are the same size. Hey look, I'll be your kid. Mom! Mom! <laughs> I'm a child! Buy me more jewelry! Ta-da, we did it! Ta-da, we done it! We done it! We rescued this 1975 C10 that we named Pumpkin Patch. Been sitting for 20 years and we got it going. It was buried in mud and worms. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. <laughs> yeah, Mook pretty much wrapped it up. <laughs> there it is, that's survival of our first ever Chevy truck. We're now gonna take this home and hopefully find a new owner for it so we can get the attention it needs or be disassembled to help put other trucks more deserving back on the road. Yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe to all my friends, Junkyard Mook, Thunderhead 289, Dylan McCool Classic Mustangs 429, the Boss Garage, Vice Grip Garage, Cars and Cameras, Golden Rust and Bust, the whole gang. We'll see you next week right here on Junkyard Digs for another great something something revival. Peace. Yeah! <laughs> That's a wrap. Kevin's retiring. This is my channel now. We're going to rescue all the caterpillars you... and a wheelbarrow. And we're probably hopefully going to avoid the wasp nests. Nests? Wasp nest with dish soap. Subscribe to Moog to see more of this chaos. And caterpillars and muggerscopes. <laughs>